First of all, best wishes for 2015, obviously. This is our first Destiny update of the year. Um, we have been playing, uh, obviously, since January 1st, but um, this is the first official reset of the year. And uh, we'll start things off with uh, the Nightfall. Last week, uh, again, uh, was uh, a DLC uh, Nightfall. Uh, the Will of Crota, I know a lot of people, uh, we didn't do a Destiny update because of the holidays, but I know uh, a lot of people weren't too pleased about it. But basically everything was DLC based, because even Xur uh, sold only DLC items. Yeah, of course, but I don't understand what's the point of not buying the DLC and playing the game, because you, you can actually do nothing. Uh, True. You can buy any weapons, armors. Uh, no, no, but I, I think the thing that has people upset is that um, Bungie said no one would be left behind if you don't buy the DLC. That yeah, you would still be able to just that. enjoy no, the game. No. Um, and um, enjoying the game is a matter um, of opinion, uh, I guess. But I, I do think it's fair to say that uh, enjoying the game means being able to buy the stuff Xur brings and uh, being able to do the Nightfall. So yeah, but, if, but if I it, guess it, we have an MMO spirit and people who don't buy the uh, DLC don't have an MMO spirit, maybe? True. True, but um, how are, hard, again, yeah. how hard is it um, to um, um, have a system in place where if the new strike, uh, if there's an automated system, because that's in debate as well, but if the new strike is a DLC strike, just have another strike appear for the non-DLC owners. And the same with items that Xur has. Yeah, they could do that, but they will miss um, yeah, some income. Because people won't buy the DLC. And there you have it. And yeah, and that's something. That, that that's the point. Off. Yeah, that's it's the point. Of what people pisses off. I yeah. guess. All right. Well, this week, uh, Cerberus V, the Valis to Auric uh, strike, and um, it's um, a really uh, nice strike for uh, a Nightfall because there's a lot of stuff you can do from range, and uh, the final boss has a nice uh, safe spot. Uh, one thing that's interesting though is there's no burn. No. No burn. Are you pleased? Um, no, rather have a burn because yeah, <laughs> it makes yeah, it faster. <laughs> yeah. um, so it's uh, angry, light switch, uh, juggler even, uh, which won't really affect my icebreaker. No. But um, especially uh, this strike, um, it's very nice to have good sniper rifles. Um, I have Black Hammer. Uh, I'm one of the people that isn't overly excited about it. it this is actually one of the few uh, uh, situations where it shines. Um, for a lot of other situations, I actually prefer my LDR or even uh, my Icebreaker or Patience in Time if you uh, figure in Exotics as well. But um, this strike, it will be very handy. Obviously, you'll have to be really careful with uh, Light Switch on. Um, but uh, the, the, the first boss encounter area with the three generals, um, you can snipe from really far away. Um, so if, if you have the Icebreaker, this will be a breeze. Um, if you don't, um, I guess a, a good sniper and uh, synthesis packs uh, will go a long way as well, but um, I'll stay way back. And uh, especially uh, when you've taken down the three generals and you do the tank, um, if you're feeling adventurous, there are two tubes um, on uh, the platform where the third general spawns. You can jump on and then move upwards to a cliff. Um, you can snipe uh, or even use another uh, weapon with good range. Uh, the, the tank from there and just move back whenever he fires at you, you will be safe. But it is a bit more of a risk than staying all the way back to the entrance where you actually uh, first enter the area where the three generals are. You can go all the way to that entrance. Uh, if you have a, a sniper with good range, you will be able to hit the tank from back there. Yep. Uh, he won't even acknowledge you're there, so he's not even firing at you. you can no, it can take some time before him to appear. Yeah. Um, sometimes he just hides behind the big rock. But yeah, overall it's no problem. It's a very safe way yeah. to, to go about it. And obviously, uh, Valis the Orc himself, um, I always, uh, uh, during a nightfall, go to the area when you enter his room, in the far left corner, um, the ramp that goes up to the area, if you slide off to the left, uh, you get into the little uh, corner room uh, that's right there, and you can uh, hit him through all the boxes um, basically, uh, whether he's close to you or whether he's moved to the other side, um, it's a really, really nice spot to uh, to take him out. It again takes time, um, which anything that's sort of sniper related uh, sort of means because it's a, it's a it's a classy weapon. Uh, it requires a bit of patience. 
but it's a, it's a really safe and easy way to go about it. There, there might be a bit of splash damage, so you will have to watch your movement. Uh, yeah, you can if even you though you're not in safe vulnerable. Spot. If you can shoot through the opening, uh, so can he basically. Yeah. So uh, you will have to pay attention, but it's, uh, it's 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 just very nice to have a spot where, when you need, you can always take a breather and always just um, you know regen your health. Yeah, it's a nice strike. Should be can be done. Uh, yeah. in a half hour. And I guess. Um, yeah, 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 should be, should be yeah. very doable. Um, another thing um, is uh, a roadmap has been uh, leaked online, uh, detailing when, or uh, more, not especially when, but what uh, new DLC is coming. And uh, apart from uh, three new DLC, House of Wolves is coming up, then there will actually be a, a big release, Comet, uh, and then two more uh, DLC packs and uh, the amount of strikes and new missions etc etc uh, has been uh, revealed as well how uh, exact or correct the information is remains to be seen because um, uh, the leak screen was a bit older uh, internal screen from uh, the bungee offices but um, it, it, it looks it looks nice to at least see a lot of content coming up it uh, seemed legit to me yeah yeah it, yeah. Was, it certainly did um, the Comet one uh, will probably be a full price uh, release and include everything uh, from Destiny up to that point. Um, do you think that's too expensive? Um, well, um, if you compare it, it to MMOs like World of Warcraft, it isn't uh, because uh, we don't pay a monthly fee. Um, well, in a way you do. Yeah, in a way you because do. Because the World of Warcraft content patches are free. And, yeah, yeah, um, it is true, yeah. But so you just for an entire year you buy the game and pay the subscriptions, and you get new content. Yeah, but uh, I we have to pay, yeah. uh, pay uh, uh, PlayStation Plus to get yeah, uh, access to all yeah. uh, the content, which arguably you do anyway if you own a PlayStation. But still, you pay it. Yeah, but I also play other games online, so it's know, not exclusively to to, to yeah. Destiny. But it's hard. Yeah, to, I enjoy to, to Destiny so much. I don't think it's a problem. So no. for me, uh, no. Um, but I can imagine that some people uh, who don't have my spirit um, and my point of view uh, of Destiny-like games, uh, yeah, I can imagine that they don't agree with. I with checked, the, I checked out the forum as well. And yeah, so it's, it's much, a lot of bitching, and, so and much I don't want to pay for for Destiny anymore. Uh, this yeah. game sucks. Uh, and there is plenty of stuff wrong with it. Um, yeah. For instance, yeah. Um, we talked about the upgrading uh, of Exotics when it was uh, announced. Um, and I really think it's a really shitty system. Yeah, it, it's it's a little it, weird. It doesn't feel right. Um, I just all those hours upgrading is is worth nothing. I just um, leave a, a bunch of exotics at three hundred. Yeah, but uh, there's always a new currency or a, a resource bottleneck. Um, it, it was glimmer. crafting materials before. Now it's yep. glimmer. Yeah, um, absolutely. I know um, the exclusion zone by heart. I know every enemy movement. Uh, the only thing that makes it doable for me is having uh, a warlock with obsidian mind and bad juju, which just makes it blazing fast and uh, fun. Because I, I I enjoy the core gameplay of Destiny, so just having a good shootout with using uh, your super a lot is a fun experience. Yeah, I feel the same. But, obsidian mind, bad juju, uh, glimmer farming. Yeah, is, is, but uh, is uh, it's more it, fun than it should be. It, it, yeah. But still, it's 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 a bit silly how much time I spend doing that. Yeah, um, yeah, hours and hours yeah, and yeah, hours and hours. Yeah. So um, you know, there, there's still a lot of work to be done. But I, I just stopped upgrading exotics because. Um, yeah, yeah. The, the one thing, uh, one tip, if you were like me and you upgraded all weapons and you uh, collected nearly all exotics and upgraded all of them, even the ones you didn't use, um, a good tip, uh, which is something I'm doing right now. I'm focusing on a select few exotics, um, and I'm, I'm trying to switch up which ones I've, I've used. For instance, I, I uh, uh, bought and maxed uh, Patience and Time uh, before the DLC came out. Hardly ever touched it, because I was using Icebreaker and uh, Predator's Revenge, and I had uh, uh, the Vanguard uh, Sniper as well, uh, the Epitaph. So I, I really didn't touch Patience and Time. Um, I uh, got a new one, maxed it out again, and I actually started using it, um, and it's an amazing weapon. Um, and there's more exotics that I have in my vault that I never really used. Um, so switching up your uh, weapon loadout and just focusing on new weapons that you've maybe owned but not used 
is a good way to keep things interesting. Yeah, but th there's so much wrong with this system because you are already saving up the bounties uh, for delivery I am, for yeah. when the new uh, DLC comes out, yeah. or the content page, I have and two, there's uh, so much wrong about it. <laughs> so is, is, yeah. Is there? Yeah. yeah. Because getting the exotic again, uh, to me, is uh, better than upgrading an exotic, simply because of the resource yeah, cost yeah. and glimmer cost. They should um, make so it that's, cheaper. That's a system. Yeah, but you, you already yeah. got the weapon, so yeah. make the upgrade free or yeah. less expensive because yeah. uh, now you've got to buy uh, 7000 Glamour, yeah. uh, Exotic Shard. No, it doesn't uh, feel right. No. It's, it's better to get the Exotic again and dismantle your old Exotic or just uh, use it occasionally because my 300 Bad Juju will remain perfect for the Exclusion Zone forever because of the way uh, I mean, uh, my 331 bad juju won't do more damage no, no, to level no, 18 no. enemies than no, my that's 300. Right. For some situations, it doesn't matter. So, uh, one thing I have uh, learned as well over the last couple of weeks is to reappreciate um, old exotics or legendaries that are 300. Because uh, I'm, I'm really OCD about my shit, so I always need to have everything at 331. Uh, but the old stuff is still really good, apart from doing anything where, you know, level... 30 plus enemies uh, are, then a 331 weapon will always be superior. But for a lot of content, um, just doing bounties, um, farming, etc., etc., old uh, 300 weapons are still really, really good. Yeah, yeah, they are very good. Um, and some raid weapons, uh, let's talk about that. Uh, what do you got and uh, how do you I, like them? I have a uh, sword breaker. Yeah. Um, I had three. <laughs> For some reason, no. in one week, I got them on, get them on all my characters. Uh, I didn't get it a fourth uh, time. Oh, I did right. actually dismantle two of them because I just need shards so badly. Yeah. Um, so um, I have a sword breaker, which is actually uh, a nice shotgun. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't PvP. like shotguns. Yeah, I have some friends about it who like it in PvP. It's 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 a good shotgun. I just don't like shotguns. So there you have no. it. No. Yeah. Um, and I have black hammer, uh, which, as I said before, is. In, in my opinion, very, very uh, situational. Yeah, um, that's the right word. There are just so many occasions, uh, even if you're a good shot, where you won't be able to land three precision shots in the time frame needed to refill the clip. Um, there are situations where it's very effective, and the rest of the time it's just a, a, a hard-hitting uh, sniper with a low rate of fire with a really small clip. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's 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 a bit overhyped in my opinion, personally. Nothing touches the icebreaker uh, for sure. No, no, it's not a mini icebreaker like no, people call them no, on the forums. It's very but different. The same thing is for Hunger of Crota. I expected a lot from it. Uh, I expected to be uh, it to be a mini Gjallarhorn. Yeah. But it isn't. The cluster bombs doesn't do near as many damage as uh, the Gjallarhorn does. I read people as well saying that um, stuff like the Gjallarhorn. Uh, will never be sold again because it would break uh, the, the not long uh, the, the PVE because too many people would have it and would blast through stuff. Yep, with the heavy ammo boots, they got like seven bullets for the yellow horn. Exactly, and it isn't fun anymore. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's it's a lot of fun. Not to play against if you had a, have a good machine gun. I'll play against, but yeah, just, you play, know, play, play with, with it in, in PVE. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun to have a few people with uh, gala horns. Yeah, that's um, true. But it would break PVE if everyone owns it, uh, probably. But another thing is that um, the, the gala horn is one of the weapons in game that keeps people playing. And with the weird uh, RNG system in place, we yeah. never know I where never and about when uh, you're going to get it. But yeah. it keeps a lot of people playing because they it's it's one of the exotics they still want. And just like Icebreaker. Just like Icebreaker. Yeah. But you know, more people seem to have. I, Yellow Horn is even more mythical, uh, I, I think, because uh, Icebreaker yeah. is is probably the most functional. Um, but uh, just simply being able to do amazing things, um, for instance, the Siege of the War Mine Strike, uh, uh, where uh, you defend Rasputin at the end. Uh, With the ogre. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really easy to solo uh, on heroic. Even with level 30 characters, I was leveling my Starfire Protocol because uh, I uh, literally bought every item Sir brought uh, last weekend. So I, I was just leveling Starfire Protocol for the sake of it because I enjoy it. Uh, so my Warlock went back to level 30 and um, it's uh, you just solo Siege of the Warmind, which can be a bit of a tricky mission uh, yeah. on Heroic, the final part. Especially on the end, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I just nuked the Ogre to, to, to bits with my Yellowhorn. 
And um, I, I, I tried it before on my Titan. Uh, I didn't grab my Gellhorn from the vault, and it was harder, s s simply put. But do you think that people uh, eventually get the Gellhorn or Icebreaker will stop playing? No, no, no. Is that no, what no. you're saying? No, no, no. They need a, to dangle a new carrot in front of you. But there has to be, you know, that, yeah. that one <laughs> yeah. thing. That uh, carrot. Yeah, it has yeah, to be the carrot, yeah. and, uh, uh, and the, the yellow one is probably the biggest carrot in Destiny at the moment. Yeah, For, yeah. Even, even though a lot of people have it. Yeah, one of the best best exotics, uh, the most wanted exotics. Yeah. Um, but then the new exotics. They're not are really good. Really, no, 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 no. They're they're really uh, uh, nicely designed. Yeah, I think they're amazing looking weapons. Yeah, I yeah. Have about the best looking, maybe the best looking weapons. I think um, they got certainly their own style. Yeah, uh, yeah. Worth Fort Horseman and yeah, uh, no yeah they're, they're very cool, very but they're so underpowered. Uh, they're very situational again. Mm, yeah, I've seen some yes, cool and videos yes, of and no. I see really some cool, cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. No Land EVP. Beyond is very good exactly. when you're good at it. Yeah. But yeah, then again. Um, yeah, it, you are at a disadvantage if you have it. Fair enough. Yeah. So and Dragon yeah. Breath is. Uh, I, th that's why it's so interesting. I, I don't think Sir is even remotely random. I just think <laughs> you know everybody wants Gjallarhorn uh, for the reasons I just stated. I don't think uh, Sir will ever sell the Gjallarhorn again. Um, so I think Bungie just went ahead and you know flipped the switch and said like here have Dragon's Breath and. Uh, be done with it. Be quiet. Here's an exotic rocket launcher and enjoy it. Uh, and you know yeah, there, there are people going like, well, it's almost as good as good as Gjallarhorn, and and everybody that has a Gjallarhorn is like, oh no, it isn't. No, 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 no. it isn't. But you know, it's people. There's want no it. tracking, and it lags. Uh, yeah, some people call it the walk away rocket launcher because some <laughs> bosses walk away from the solar grenade. And, it's it's very yeah. situational again. Yeah. But you know there are certain situations where it will out damage a Gjallarhorn, but those are very very rare. Yeah. But um, it's it, very it, static it, bosses maybe. Yeah, yeah. But it's very situational. Yeah. Well, uh, there you have it. Um, I think uh, we're still uh, staying at it. I mean, hard mode's coming out soon. Yeah, of course. Uh, we get a gift from Bungie. I uh, saw it on Twitter. Yeah. Um, when? Um, we get a legendary engram maybe, or uh, some people say we get a sparrow. Uh, I'm not too happy about that if it happens to be true. But I'd rather have like a, a shader or an, I don't know. I don't need an, uh, another legendary yeah. engram. Everybody has that shader, and everybody dresses up like I don't know. Uh, but everybody looks what the same. If they get engram, I get engrams every day. Yeah. So give me something special. Yeah, but not every day a legendary engram. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some some we'll, days would still be happy. A lot of days, yeah. Maybe a good legendary. All right. Well, hopefully we'll know more next week, and uh, we'll have something to talk about.